Here's a tiny swatch with a lovely chain of stitches at each side of the fabric. And we can easily add edging like this to any project we make. Before we get started, please note that if the pattern you follow does not include salvage stitches, then add two stitches to the number of stitches you cast on. Now here's how we're going to work these two stitches. First, we're going to slip the first stitch with the working yarn at the back of the work. See, the working yarn is at the back, and then you insert the tip of the right needle from right to left into the very first stitch of the row. Then take the left needle out and leave the stitch on the right needle. So we're not knitting it, we are simply slipping it. And then we work in whatever stitch pattern you like, because this edging looks great with any stitch pattern. It could be ribbing, it could be cables, lace, you name it. But you stop when you come to the last stitch of the row, because this stitch is going to be purled. So we bring the yarn to the front of the work, no matter which stitch pattern you use, you bring the yarn to the front of the work and you purl this stitch. And I knit and purl using the Russian knitting style, so don't be surprised that stitches are worked a little bit different. And we do the same thing in every row, consistently, every row, right side, wrong side, doesn't matter. You slip the first stitch, then you work to the last stitch in any stitch pattern you like, using whatever design elements you please. You simply work on your project, but you stop when you come to the last stitch and then you bring the yarn to the front and you purl this stitch. And when you do it in every row, then you will get a lovely edging like this one. This technique is very common in the Russian knitting, but it also works if you knit using any of the classic knitting styles. Because we purl stitches differently in the classic knitting than we do in the Russian knitting, the chain of stitches at the edge of the fabric will look a little bit different. You can see a photo of a chain of stitches at the edge of the fabric formed by the classic knitting style in the full photo tutorial that you will find at tenrosaday.com slash Russian knitting need edges. To download this tutorial as a PDF, join the club at tenrosaday.com slash club. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to know about your favorite way to make neat side edges. Please let me know in the comments. Next time, we'll celebrate the Earth Day by discussing a wonderful old technique that helps us mend our nets. I'll talk to you then.